Okay, this is one of the trickier application problems from sequences and series, um, and it deals with the bouncing ball. Okay, so I'm going to make one up and wing it and see how we go. Um, so let's say we've dropped a ball off of the senior bridge, and the ball falls. Um, sorry, I forgot to get completely set up. Um, the ball falls off the senior bridge, let's say it's 12 feet high, um, and then it bounces up. 75% of its original height, okay? So, um, and then it's gonna fall from here and hit the ground again, and then it bounces up 75% of that height, okay? And then it falls from there, and it bounces up 75%. Uh, once again, it falls from there. Um, so what we have is, um, if we say, uh, what am I doing? Okay. Um, it's going to bounce up times, so I'm going to take that previous number and multiply it by 75%, so there it's 9, and then it's 6.75, and I can keep going, so this one has a height of 9, and this has a height of 9, this would have a height of 6.75, um, or what's that as a fraction? Uh, 27 fourths, so there's that. Um, and so both of those would be the same, and then I can, I can multiply that again, let's make that a fraction. Okay, so then this time it's bouncing up a height of 81 over 16, and it keeps, it can keep doing this. Um, so there's different ways that we'll ask the question. Um, let's see, it keeps, but technically it's bouncing, it could, it could bounce to infinity. Um, so they may say, here's how I like, I like to always draw this picture even if I only do a few drops, so I can kind of see what's happening. Um, the best, my favorite way to think through this problem is to talk about, I, I would use two sequences, and I would say that one of them is, this is D sub 1, so this D for down, this is the first time it goes down, so this is down D1, then this one right here would be equal to D2, as it's going down, here this one is D3, here we're at D sub 4, D sub 5, etc. Okay, so my, my, um, my, Geometric sequence for the D path was D sub n would be in, equal to the initial amount, so its initial fall is 12 feet, or whatever the number was, and then it was 75%, or 3 fourths is my common ratio, times n minus 1. Now, then we also have the upward path. Okay, so then we also have this upward motion, um, so this would be U sub 1. Well, notice U sub 1 and D sub 2 are the same amount. Um, so we could write a rule, U, this is u sub 1, here, right, this one right here would be u sub 2, this one is u sub 3, and, and so forth. So u sub n, our initial amount, um, is 9, it's that first amount up, um, times 3 fourths to the n minus 1, or you could even say that this is equal to, um, let me do it this way, or we could say that u sub n is equal to, well, 12 times 3 fourths to the n. Okay, when I plug in one, I get that first amount, and that's that first bounce up. So I would take either one of those. It, it works out the same way. So they may ask you, um, how, how high, what could they ask? How high after the fifth bounce? Okay, so um, I, I'm not looking at your worksheet, so I don't exactly remember what we asked you. Um, I've looked at it. But it's been a year. Um, so, but I'm just kind of thinking through in general how do these problems go. Um, so on this one, so how high after the fifth bounce? Well, here's the first, the first bounce, here's the second bounce, here's the third, the fourth, and the fifth. Well, notice that after the fifth bounce, it's bouncing up. This would be D sub six or U sub five. Okay, I didn't label all that. That's U sub four right here. This is U. This one right here is U sub five. So after the fifth bounce, you can see that we either want to know um, u sub 5 or you could find d sub 6 because those would be equivalent. Um, so then we can just plug in the, whatever number we need to right here. Um, so this, so I could say u sub 5 is equal to 12 times 3 fourths to the fifth power. Okay, um, sure, I'll go ahead and plug that in. 12 times, well, 0.75 raised to the fifth. Um, let's go ahead and make that a fraction because it's going to be relatively prettier. And so this 729 over 256 is about, let's change that back so we can see, it's about 2.848 feet high. So that's how high it's going to bounce after the fifth bounce, assuming that it's bouncing up 75% each time. 
Okay, another thing it might say is um, how far has the ball traveled when it hits the ground. Oh, sorry. Uh, when it hits the ground, the make up a number, eighth time. Okay, so on that one, we look back at our picture. I have to do the downward motion and I have to do the upward motion. So I have a few options on how I want to think about that. I could either just do these upwards and then double it and then add in this downward, or I could say I could add a D sub in and a U sub in and add them together. Okay, let me let me stick to one method. I'm gonna try that. Um, so after okay, how far has the ball traveled when it hits the ground the eighth time? Well, when it hits the ground the third time, it's gone down three times and up two. Okay, so when it hits the ground the eighth time, it will go down eight times and up seven. So it needs to go down eight times and up seven by that point. Okay, um, I draw this out so I can see, and I may not draw it out to eight, but I draw it out so I can say, oh, by the third time it went down, one, two, three. Third time, down three times, and it only went up two. Okay, so what I've got here is this is the sum of my D, func D sequence, 12 times three fourths to the N minus one, as um, N goes from one, it needed to bounce up, it needed to bounce, hit, go down eight times, plus then I want the sum as n goes from one to seven of my upward motion. Okay, and now I'm back to doing a regular problem. My formula, if you remember, is s sub n is equal to a sub one times one minus r to the n over one minus r. If you write that every time, you won't have to look at the formula sheet or whatever. Um, there you go. So this one, my my formula would be a sub one is twelve times one minus my common ratio is three fourths. This time, this one I'm raising to the eighth power over one minus three fourths. Maybe I should have put 0.75. Whatever. We'll see what I grab. Do when I grab my calculator. This one, this is nine times one minus well three fourths to the seventh power over one minus three fourths. Okay. So. Watch how I plug that in. I have to be able to see it. I'm sorry. Um, delete it. 12 times, and I'm going to make that a fraction. 1 minus 0.75 is easier for me to type in. And that's the first one. Um, I can hit enter um, if I want to figure out what that value is. And it's probably not a bad idea because if I give you partial credit, you're better off. But I'm too lazy. So I'm just going to type in the next one. I mean, efficient. Um, 1 minus 0.75 raised to the 7th power over 1 minus 0.75. So this should match what I had written out here. Did I match? I think so. And when I hit enter, what we find is that we have gone about 74.389 feet by that, by that, um, how far has the ball traveled when it hits the ground the 8th time? It has traveled about 74, almost 75 feet. Okay, so then another thing that they can say is, um, what's the total distance the ball travels? Okay, the total distance the ball travels is going to be all of its downward motion and all of its upward motion, but it's going to do it to infinity. Okay, so if you remember my two equations, this one was... Uh, that was the downward motion, the upward one. We can use this. And I want to find, if you remember, the, the infinite summation is that formula, a sub 1 over 1 minus r. So the first one, my initial amount here, and for this problem, um, well, d sub 1 would be equal to 12, and my r value is 3 fourths. And this one, my u sub 1 is equal to 9, and my r value is 3 fourths. And both of those um, are less than 1, so I can use this formula. Remember, I can't just do, um, I can't find the infinite summation of every geometric series. I have to make sure that r is less than 1. Um, so then I have 12 over 1 minus 3 fourths plus 9 over 1 minus 3 fourths. 
um, okay, so 12 over 1 minus 0.75 plus 9 over 1 minus 0.75. And this ball is traveling a total of 84 feet. Hope that was helpful. Enjoy.